High-frequency electromagnetic waves can harm our bodies. This is because they carry large amounts of energy, but you don't need to know why this is at GCSE. What you do need to know is that ultraviolet, or UV waves, X-rays, and also gamma waves, are the highest frequency electromagnetic waves, and they can harm us when we come into contact with them. Though all waves can potentially do harm if they're intense enough and we're exposed to them for a long time. So how can these waves affect our bodies? Well, let's start by looking at X-rays and gamma waves. X-rays and gamma waves are types of ionizing radiation. This means they're able to give enough energy to electrons to let them escape from atoms and form ions. These can mutate cells and cause cancerous growths. For example, let's suppose we have a group of cells from an organ in the body. They've somehow been exposed to a large amount of gamma waves or X-rays. The energy from the waves causes atoms in the cells to ionize, which leads to changes in their DNA. You don't need to know exactly how this happens for your exam, but you do need to know that when cells are exposed to these waves, they can mutate and then form cancer cells. So we need to take great care when working with these waves and limit our exposure to them. Now, what about UV waves? Why do we need to be careful about exposure to those? UV waves, in particular, cause skin cancer. In general, most of the UV waves we're exposed to will come directly from the sun. Sunlight contains waves of both visible light and UV light. Like X-rays and gamma waves, when cells absorb these waves, they can mutate and become cancerous. However, UV waves will cause skin cancer in particular, as the cells in our skin will have absorbed all the waves before they can reach other organs in the body. They can also cause the skin to age prematurely. Now normally, chemicals in our skin help keep it young and stretchy. UV waves will cause these chemicals to break down though. And as a result, our skin can start to look older as we start to see wrinkles form. Normally, both of these effects only occur after being exposed to UV light for a long time. But we should still be careful about how long we stay out in the sun on hot days. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.